Georgia, I'm slightly concerned. I'm very concerned with what's going on, man. Uh, we gonna get into it though. We definitely gonna talk about it. Major sounds in the kitchen cooking up, boy. Yo, what's happening, YouTube fam? Y'all already know who it is and what it is, man. And I really want to touch on something about my dogs because I see it's been going on, going on for the last two weeks now with these injuries. And a lot of people are concerned. A lot of fans are concerned. And a lot of people are concerned, period, of, you know, <laughs> will the dogs three-peat? Um, at this point, I'm concerned as well. I'm not even going to lie to y'all. I'm concerned. Um, I feel like uh, these injuries is definitely hindering us or keeping us from being dominant this season. Um, I don't feel like we we have looked dominant uh, with these last preseason type of games. And um, I feel like a lot of people is, is thinking that with this game, it's going to be all in. This is the game that we're going to step up the most and we're going to show what we really have and fully open up the playbook i've been hearing this a lot and i'm hoping that that's true i'm hoping that that actually happens that we do fully open up the playbook and really show what you know what what cuz i know a lot of times we hear guys say you know guys that's been on the field um around georgia the georgia program saying that this team is just as good as last season you know what i'm saying um but i haven't seen a, a glimpse of that at all i haven't seen a glimpse of it and of course because of the injury so i want to keep uh reiterating that because i know people will hear me say stuff and they be like well it's because we are we got a lot of guys on injury yeah we have a few guys on injury but a lot of, but the, the, the main two it's, it's really only two guys that we have as far as the offense side of the ball it's really only two guys that we actually have that show that has shown us that they can play an intricate part on the offense and that's Lad McConkey um and and um Dejan Edwards so it's like those are the only really the only two guys that's on injury so it's only really two guys so it's not like we have a a bunch of players that's on injuries the guys that was on injury like Andrew Paul he hadn't even touched the field until this season and I would like to see a lot more from him because he had a he had a nice you know buzz coming into Georgia but you know, I'm just like I say, I'm I'm definitely concerned with what's been going on lately. Like I've seen different stuff. You know, you see different stuff from different social media platforms. You may see a platform that say, "Well, Lad McConkey may not play this," you know, up and coming uh, game. I don't know. Some some of this some of these uh, social media platforms be giving out old inform or reposting old information, or either you will just see it in the algorithm and it'll be an old video, especially on Instagram. You know, normally YouTube will give you the real updates, and hopefully, you know. We we open up the playbook, man. Definitely. Um, I, I've been hearing a lot about that as far as us opening up this playbook. I really want to see what Mike Bobo got in store. Like if if these last two games is all you really have in store, the chances of us winning a third national third natty is like very very slim. Very slim. You're going to have to fully open up that playbook. And like I say, hopefully he does it with this game. We need him to do it with this game. You know what I mean? And and, and, and let me say something. I, I really want to touch on it. This is something that I've been thinking about for a while. Like, I normally don't criticize Kirby because obviously Kirby has done work wonders for us at Georgia. But the only thing that I got to criticize Kirby on is that these press conference with this limited information. And I know guys going to see this and say, well, he's not going he's not going to throw it all out there for these teams you know what i'm saying giving up all of his info yeah but it's still fans out there that would love to know what's actually going on with this, with these players and it's not even it's not even him telling the game plan for that week i'm talking about injuries like he he rarely like even with they asked him about javon bullock oh well i haven't seen him and i'm like what you haven't seen him but and then that was it. He was like, I haven't seen him, and you know, hopefully, you know, I'll see him at practice or whatever. That's probably the next time I'll see him. And I'm like, okay, yeah, I understand that you may have not seen him, but I'm sure somebody is is relaying some information over to you, saying, hey, Javon is getting better. Javon can you know play, or Javon still is still he's still not you know 100. percent I'm sure it's something being said, and for him to just say, well, I haven't seen him, it's kind of like. You know, it's kind of like I won't say it's a slap in the face to the to the to the dog fans. I'll just say it kind of like 
it pisses us off. I ain't even going to lie. I'll say it for y'all. You know, I know it's a lot of Georgia fans out there that's just still going to talk crap about what I'm saying right now. But it's facts, man. A lot of us be pissed off with Kirby in these press conferences because he don't give a lot of information. You know, and he got his reasons. So I can't really be mad at him because, he, you know, he, he got his reasons on why he do what he do. But I would just like to hear a lot more. That way we know what to expect. We, we never know what to expect week to week in this and it's crazy because we would like to know, even with the quarterback situation the last couple of years, before Stetson started doing his thing, we never knew. I think until what the, the, the until the Arkansas game, we didn't know who was going to start. <laughs> and, and then that's when they started Dewan Mathis. So it's like stuff like that. Like even with Carson and, and, and Brock and, you know, not knowing which one of these guys was going to start, even though most of us that watched the spring game knew that Carson was going to start, he still waited until what? a week or two before the season started to say, oh, it's going to be Carson. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, it, we, 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 we want to know more information, man. We be wanting to know more information. And I'm just solely speaking on the, the injuries uh, this season. Like, I, I don't really want to speak on the past. I'm just giving y'all examples of the past of, of how Kirby has done, you know, and, but, Solely speaking on this season, I feel like we need more updates on what's going on. You know what I'm saying? Because we we we're gonna have to fully open up the playbook with this with this game. And I'm not trying to make it seem like South Carolina is just some beast, but they are our SEC opponent, and the, this is a game that we can't lose, especially to a team like South Carolina, because everybody knows if Spencer Rattler starts to click and. It, it may, it, you know, it's going to look ugly out there. You know what I mean? It's definitely going to look ugly out there because our defense is not as dominant as they uh, as last season either. And the thing about it is, people are like, well, you got a lot of players that went in or went into, you know, went into the NFL or, 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 but at the end of the day, you got and a lot of players did leave. Like you, you had Bear Alexander left. You had a couple of uh, linebackers that left and went to other programs. But my thing is, these all of those guys was getting rotated in. But my thing is, most of the guys are still there. That was there last season. The only the main two guys that's gone that that are gone is uh, Jalen Carter and Nolan Smith. So most of the guys that we see now, like Chaz Chamberlain and Javon Bullard and 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 uh, Malachi Starks and um, who else, uh, Tyke Smith and you know all of these guys have was already at Georgia, played last season as well. So we can't use the excuse that guys left and went to other. No, we can't use that as an excuse. This is the same, pretty much the same lineup. Minus Jalen Carter and Nolan Smith, and, and and for those who don't remember, Nolan Smith, what he was out for the last what three or four games, four or five games, he was he was done, and we still look dominant. But I don't know if we look as dominant uh, this season as we did last season. Like I say, it's people that say they out on the out in the on the field and say they you know talk to a different uh, a group of different people from the program saying that the defense look just as good as last season. Now, do I feel like it's a big drop-off? No. I don't feel like it's a big drop-off. I don't feel like, you know, um, it's a major drop-off. I do feel like it's a slight drop-off from last season because, like, obviously, I'm saying that we don't look as dominant. But, like I said in the beginning of the video, I'm definitely um, concerned with, you know, how we're going to look at, at – uh, um, Saturday. I'm definitely concerned with that. Um, hopefully, my thing is, and I posted it on my um, on, on my, I post I posted a post saying, you know, uh, Dylan Bell for running back one for RB one, and that's and that's the, honestly, bro. I feel like Dylan Bell should be um, RB one at this point because, like I said in in previous videos, Kendall Smith, Kendall Milton can't do anything for us at this point. At least he hadn't showed us anything. You know, a lot of times Kirby will say that he's not fully a hundred percent, but he still wanted to play. Well, my thing is, if he's not a hundred percent, then why is he even in? doing anything because he's not giving us any type of production that we would like to see from him. You know what I mean? And, you know, and, and one of my big issues with the running back room is why we, I want to see more from Andrew Paul, you know, is he not a hundred percent either? It, 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 you know, because it seemed like he's very limited too. You know, you running a freshman more than you running Andrew Paul. So is Andrew Paul still limited too? You know what I'm saying? Okay, you got Cash Jones. What about Cash Jones? 
you know what I'm saying? I don't think Cash Jones, he's not a freshman. I think Cash Jones is a sophomore, right? You know, somebody could correct me, but I think Cash Jones is a sophomore. Why Why are you, aren't y'all playing Cash Jones? I seen Spark in Cash Jones in the spring game. I think Cash Jones can help out with this running back room. We just got to play the players that need to be played. Like I say, Dylan Bell, he should be at that running back position. We get, we have multiple receivers. Let me name a few. We have Lad McConkey if he's healthy for Saturday. We have Marcus Roseme. We I gotta add Brock Bowers. I gotta add uh, Oscar Depp. Even though those guys are tight ends, they still part of the receiving room. You you got um, Marcus Roseme. You got. Uh, um, Malachi Muse, you have uh, Dominic Lovett, Rod Rod Thomas, uh, CJ uh, Smith. We have multiple guys. My thing is we have enough guys for you to use Dylan Bell for that running back if you need to. Look how good he looked. Look how he good he looked at ball, uh, playing Ball State. So I just feel like, you know, honestly, I feel like it's time to kind of reevaluate things. And I know he's a coach. You know, he's a great coach. You know, I, I, I'm not a coach, so I can't tell him what to do. And But the only thing is I'm a fan. I'm a diehard fan, so I'm going I'm to give my opinion regardless of who to coach. I'm going to give my opinion on what I feel like, you know, should happen and what I feel like may help. You know, get us over the hump that we, cause I mean, we need we we gonna have to, man. We gonna have to. We can't have South Carolina, you know, even even you know, opening up their mouth to think that we're gonna be and then they, that they're gonna win. But and another thing I want to say before I get out of here is because I'm not gonna stay too long. Before I get out of here, I want to say this. Kirby mentioned um, that he wanted to get the crowd participation. I'll just say that he wanted crowd to uh, participation, right? My thing is, I have rarely seen Kirby mention anything about crowd participation when it came to South Carolina. So obviously, Kirby knows something that we don't know, or Kirby is saying, telling us something without saying it. You know what I'm saying? Because normally he'll say it about Tennessee, or he'll say it about uh, Oakland, uh, um, Alabama, but to say it about Carolina, that's kind of weird to me, especially the way Carolina's been playing this 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 season. Like, uh, I mean, I, I know it's only been two games, but why are we needing? And and of course, every program is going. They want the crowd participation, of course. But my thing is to to I rarely hear them saying it when it comes to South Carolina crowd participation. And I understand that you know it's been South Carolina fans and things has been saying that you know uh, uh, our or South Carolina of players or fans or whomever has been saying that you know our crowd participation is not the worst that they have you know ran into but at the end of the day and, I, and that may that may be the reason why he wanted to rebuttal to that statement but at the end of the day i just feel like why are we needing this this whole band together crowd participation for south carolina is it something going on that we don't know about and that's why i f i spoke about it in the beginning that's the only thing that i i criticize kirby on is the fact that we need these injury updates we don't need you saying oh i don't know what's going i don't know you know uh, you know um he's he's getting better you know they're getting better every week they, you know they they pushing forward they you know getting more reps i i mean we hear that year after year i would like to hear like a real statement or you know saying i would like to hear something that will give me some type of confidence even if it's something bad let us know like what's really going on you know what i mean um let me go ahead and give my little slight prediction my little early prediction i normally don't do this but i would say if i would give a prediction it would be like 35 to 17 I would say that, I, you know, 35 to 10 or 35 to 17, Georgia on top. You know what I'm saying? And um, I say that because of the, all of the dynamic players that we do have. And eventually, you know, of course, South Carolina is going to play us real tough in the first half. You know, but eventually we're going we gonna, to uh, pull through and we're going to take off like we always do. Um, I think Carson Beck is going to throw for at least three touchdowns. Um Hopefully he throw for at least three touchdowns. I think he might leave out of there with like 290 to 300 uh, passing yards. I mean, he going to have to have a lot of passing yards anyway, especially with us not having a run game. You know what I'm saying? You can't do anything without a run game. You know, if, you, if you've seen the last uh, two weeks, the past two weeks, the past games, we haven't been able to do anything hardly without a running game. So it's like, we, you know, it opens up the field. You know, y'all hear that a lot. We all hear that a lot. It opens up the field to other plays. And like I 
like I say, man, hopefully a lot of people saying Mike Bobo going to open up this playbook. Hopefully he open up this playbook and show us something that we haven't seen from him since he been the offensive coordinator. We need to see more from him because you already got fans that's, that already don't really like him like that. So you need to prove yourself at this point, uh, Mike. You got to prove yourself at this point. Shout out to the dog. Shout out to all the players. Hopefully everybody stay healthy. Shout out to all my uh, subscribers. Everybody subscribe to me. Um, yeah, man, y'all already know who it is and what it is, baby. We finna be out this thing. <laughs>